Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be deviating from the normal skill and talent development normally, which is taught in the industry. Skill and talents are indispensable tenants for oil and gas. In my lifetime, at least I have heard five times that the oil and gas era is going to be over. The oil and gas which is there will last only for 15 years. I have been hearing it from 1980. And friends, we are still there. Every time this discussion came, or the confusion arose, the world has come up with uh, much bigger discoveries to tackle that. Whether it is the Middle East, whether it is the Gulf of Mexico, whether it is Africa, whether it is in the deep water which has been opened for the first time after 90s. New frontiers have come to rescue the mankind when it was in crisis, and it will continue to happen that way. Skill and talents. The skill is learned by practice, which we apply, the technique, and the execution. But the talent is probably naturally gifted by birth ideas, concepts, and innovation. To me, skill is an ability or proficiency in a specific area which can be divided into the technical skills, application and execution skills, and the interpersonal skills. Talent, a conscious, deliberate approach undertaken to attract development and retain the skill set with the aptitude and abilities to meet the current and future organizational need. Competence, commitments, and contribution. These can probably explain the skill and talent combination together, which is needed for the industry. I will now come to my famous uh, slide, which I normally show to the students. How do we differentiate between skill and talent? Everybody can see the grape, but only few of you can see the wine in it. That is the innovation. That is the skill plus talent. So when only few can see something, you can see the invisible, which is not seen with a normal skilled person. That is the difference between skill and talent. From the palm lips to the palm top, microprocessor to the robot, artificial intelligence, machine learning, bicycle to the aeroplane, fuel engine to the electric motors, 2D seismic to the 3D and the 4D, wood fire to the lead LED bulb, hydrogen, hydrocarbon to hydrogen. The monkey has evolved to human being. So skill and talent will also evolve. I will now get you to the skill and development which has evolved and resulted in some of the exciting things for the oil and gas, and it will continue to happen that way. When we started the oil and gas exploration, the most obvious anticlinal closures were thought to be the hydrocarbon bearing resources. That was only 5% of the sedimentary basins. So our entire intelligence was focused around those 5%. We called it structural traps. Slowly, with the talents, we understood that the hydrocarbon could coexist in stratigraphic trap, which could constitute 50% of the sedimentary basin areas. Vast, huge. So migrated from this conventional structural to stratigraphic approach then found the shuttle traps which cannot be identified in the conventional technology of gravity magnetic or the magnetotelluric or the rudimentary 2D seismic could be found in the high resolution 3D seismic shuttle trap exploration. Finally, the frontier of deep waters where nobody believed that, that the hydrocarbon could coexist in the turbidites and the biogenic gas also came to the existence. Then 
Gulf of Mexico opened up a new corridor in the salt and below salt provinces. And that became a new frontier and the concept of oil and gas has evolved. Though it is 150 years old, it has evolved every time and shattered the new frontiers. The paradigm shift in the understanding of the petroleum from the land, petroleum was considered to be focused only close to the land or in the near coast. But the concept has gone far beyond. And today we are in the water depth of more than 3,000 meters. And that is the progression in the paradigm shift in the understanding. So the petroleum search and production has moved from the land to the near coast and now to the deeper waters. Also covered the desert, which was not considered to be a good enigmatic area for hydrocarbon exploration. I will show you a few examples where you can see how skill and talent combined together had given you the surprises, and all the time the surprises were much bigger than whatever has been before. This is a basin which has been explored for 150 years now, Wilcox Basin in Gulf of Mexico. When the exploration started, the first discovery was made in a depth of 500 meters in the land. The exploration continued for 30 years. The second cycle of exploration went to the waters near the coast, 30 meters water depth. It continued there for the next 50 years. The third one came when they found the technique to penetrate the salt and go a little deeper. And by that, they went up to 3,000 meters depth. And the third cycle brought about 10 billion barrels of hydrocarbon, new resources below the salt. The fourth one, which is the recent one, in the same basin had been opened up in the deeper waters beyond 1,000 meters of water depth. And my friends, reservoir sands have been found in a 300 mile long and 50 mile wide fairway parallel to the present day self margin in 150 years. So skill and talent combined together can change the perception of a basin. You could have new wine in the world bottles every time in this industry. 5,000 to 10,000 feet of water containing more than 20 fields, 50 billion barrels of oil equivalent in this field alone. I'm showing you some examples. You will be very excited to see that. These are two continents. The bottom one, Latin America, and the other one is Africa. If you could see, I am unable to get the point, the tip of the Latin America can fit into the, uh, the side of uh, the African continent. That means both the continents were together before they got separated. When we got the exploration successes after success in Gulf of Mexico, if they were together before, why can't the African continent will be hydrocarbon bearing? With that concept, the continental margin of Africa has been opened up and the last 20 years, it has seen unprecedented about 100 billion barrels of hydrocarbon has been discovered in the African coast, in the conjugate margins of Latin America. If you see the seismic, you can see the mirror image as if they are in the same place. But the left hand side pertains to the South America and with little data gap, the African uh, continental margin seismic. The seismic suggest the continuity of the events, continuity of the reservoir qualities is there, and thanks to the multi-client regional seismic, which not only connect the state boundaries, but connect the continent boundaries for the prospectivity understanding. So these are the skill and talent, and uh, not to be precisely uh, getting in, inside the hole and searching for the skill and talents. There are some pictures which uh, I will skip because how it was before and now how it is. If you could see some of these pictures, before we could not see even some of the signatures which could be so important for the geoscientist to explore. And 
getting into the technology front, when we started the exploration, people were digging the well by hand digging. And now we have come to the sixth generation drilling rig. And from the vertical hole, we can drill horizontal leg more than four to five kilometers horizontal in the strata to penetrate the maximum surface area. And the multilaterals, from one hole, we could drill 20 holes to give you the uh, best aerial coverage. Some of these fields in Kambay and Assam, which we tell that the old basins, since some of my friends are there from ONGC, Oil India, and some other companies, the fields which have been explored and considered to be matured, please believe me, they are not matured yet. Every time you find new pledge in the existing pledge or besides existing pledge through new technology or enhancing the resolution of the technology which have been available to you. So these are few examples which have really made these two basins to be rethought again for their newer place. This is the uh, east coast of India. This is not the abstract painting. This has been done by us. Dr. Abhinash Chandra will vouch for me when he was the DG, first DG, an eminent geologist. I went to him by showing these pictures and he told, Ravi, this is the tip of the iceberg. And after the first discovery when we made in the deep waters of India, he told, the triple junction is opening, and uh, you will not only see it in Krishna Godavari, but see it in the Mahanadi. So the story of deep water began there, and I will not get into the uh, details of that, but uh, this, uh, Dr. Rajan Saab, I, I must uh, get you these two slides for the benefit of the country as a whole. We may be talking two big things. The technology status in India is uh, really bleak. India and East Europe, they are uh, in the lowest of the technology speed. We have to speed up. It is further alarming. If you see the oil and gas publications worldwide, India stands very negligible. This is the bubble map. And if you see the publications which have made impact in oil and gas, India doesn't appear there. So when we went to the AAPG for the first time, when we made this uh, deep water discovery, that was the first ever concept which had impacted. And when we got that uh, Millennium Symposium Award, uh, that was the only concept of India which was prevalent. It is really simple. And uh, how do we do that? Ideas are nobody's monopoly. Do not follow where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. This is for the youngsters, those who are sitting at the back bench. The skill and talents are not meant for destruction. The Russia and Ukraine war is not yet over 300 days. So much of destruction is going on. So the skill and talents to be nurtured for the benefit of the mankind, for the benefit of the civilization. Nobody made a greater mistake than who, who did nothing because he could only do a little. So please try to get into the talent pool which is available to you, connect it with the skill, and get the journey much brighter for you. Wishing you all a great journey ahead. Thank you very much, and God bless you.